So this is something we need to look at for your family because I know that I was shocked when I saw how many people were. Uh, my husband took me around to the retail stores uh, showing me uh what they were doing with my artwork I was shocked The man mm-hmm. laughed, he couldn't believe it I uh, went in and they wanted Some real expensive uh, price For my, uh, these pogs That were in a glass case And this man was uh, Making this big negotiation With my husband And he about had a heart attack When he told him, well this is the artist You know, so what would you give her? And he wouldn't even give me a break on the on my own artwork. So these are things you need to consider while you're still alive, Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. it happened to me. It can happen to you. You know, they can make other things. So uh, we want to. I have to sort of get out in the world with this sort of thing. I've been had my nose in the studio and in Spain. They're living kind of isolated, and uh, I I sort of actually caught on now that I'm going to have to sort of broaden out my artwork and, and see what I can do with my work. I, oh, I have, definitely. I have get, the first thing I was asked for was a catalog. So this is something your family needs to do, Jack, because you, so let's just say we got 35 years, but this is 2020, Jack. So if you'll allow mm-hmm. me as a psychic uh, lady that has this, a legacy to keep my husband's artwork alive. Uh, his all his artwork is in Kentucky, but it's up to his sisters. The local museum wanted to help sell his artwork, but he only sold prints, and that's what I told Rich about. Uh, or no, mm. I, uh, on the on the show, Rich or Suzanne, I forget which one is mm. never sell your originals unless you really are starving. <laughs> but if you're, if that's how you, if that's how you made a living, that's fine. But now mm. we've got all this stuck up, up over in Europe, and we can't get to it right now. So here yeah, in 2020, yeah. with COVID 19, you have 9 11. So you're at the perfect cusp. Uh, for Americans, this is 9 5 2020. So, we're going to have this as an oral recording forevermore, and we got about 10 <laughs> minutes left. So, I'm going to mute, but I'd like you to use the last 10 minutes with uh, Rich and leave uh, your ideas. And this Ace Folk Life Club is to be built on people such as my husband who died. I don't know if they can find my artwork in Hawaii. I don't even have my own artwork. I've, I'm the last artist to tell you how to keep control because I lost control over all my artwork. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it can be done very easily. So I'm going to let you and Rich talk about the control and the estate. But Ace Folk Life would like to be a part of that. And then we can be like those people that were selling my artwork for you. We can help put it out on the domains and then maybe, you know, you can help keep artists, starving artists in mind, uh, help them, mm-hmm. help, help us find them, help us list mm-hmm. them and, and help them make money themselves by being a social society, you know, because right. you love yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm going to mute. Okay, and then maybe you and Rick and Suzanne can work on that. Okay, back yeah, to you, yeah, Rich and helpful. Suzanne. Okay, and thank you for uh, your attention and everything, and uh, I'll, I'll be serious about that. I'll do something about it. Okay? Well, what, what, yeah, I think one of one of the family members or however it's going to work out in the days ahead, someone's going to just have to take photos and catalog all your work. I know you have many photos and you have pieces and you sold many pieces. So, yeah, that's just a process of uh, cataloging all that stuff. And no, I think, no. yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a family member who has the time and the the energy to do that. But what do you think? What do you what do you think of your legacy you've left behind so far, Jack? So far, well, I don't know. I've I've had an immense amount of attention here uh, lately, sort of getting out as much as I have, and uh, which has been kind of gratifying. I didn't know anybody even knew about the name and stuff, and then they say, "Oh, Jack Rutherford." So, so there's something's going on without my even knowing it because. I do I do live up in a sort of a remote place, and I haven't. This is my first big trip out. I've stayed over in what, and uh, so I'm, I'm sort of catching on now. What with, 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 with some of the possibilities? So I'll look into it. Rich will help me with this too. I'm sure. We'll give yeah, some, we'll, some uh, pointers. we'll get some. Uh, put some. Put some effort into it. But yeah, you've lived. You've. Uh, 
you have a number of pieces. I'm sure your your photos and your images are out there somewhere, and we just have oh, to yeah. gather them all together. That's right. Yeah, I'll I'll look into that because uh, they are. I've got most everything on some kind of website or some uh, under under some some kind of a heading, and then I've got I've got some big collectors who have photographed everything as well. And so yeah. I'll, I'll kind of, I'll kind of look into it now. Suzanne, so you're we're on a recording, so. Why don't you tell people how they can find you on Facebook? Because that's how well, I want people to have an opportunity to take a look at uh, you and your well, name. Just talk yeah, about well, I'm, I'm, I'm not on Facebook. Yes, you are. I'm not on Facebook. Yes, huh? you are. Yes. Am I? Yes. Well, how did, how did that happen? Um, I I don't know, dear, but I um, you're on Facebook and uh, your picture's on there and there's a picture of you uh, sketching uh, right out you know, on your property where you um, have your home today in Spain and you're sketching and there's several pictures of you so just tell them your name and people can go on to Facebook and then uh, they can look at your work, and they can look at your lifestyle, and they can look at the beautiful house. Just mm-hmm. give them your name. Just give them your name so they can look. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> I will. That's a surprise. I'm sort of a, I'm, I'm sort of like a, a lost soul on that sort of thing. I'm, I'm going to make a little effort there now. I find out that it's, it's important. It's, it's, it gives you a you work a chance to be seen, and people appreciate it. So that's, that's, I'm all for that. <laughs> So it's Jack Harris Rutherford. Exactly. Jack Harris Rutherford. And so uh, they can send you a friend request. They can follow you. And then Mm -hmm. we can uh, be in contact with them. They can also contact Rich Flynn. And he has. And and Rich, do your webpage for us. So I'm at richflynn.com. And well, that's good. email rich at richflynn.com, right. rich at richflynn.com. So those are those are ways, and we would love to hear from people uh, about the inspiration of living the life of an artist, the act of faith, uh, the resilience, uh, the support of family being a very important role in being an well, artist. And, also, there's the small well, world story. Does anybody out there own pieces of Jack Rutherford? Remember the lady who showed up and had a story? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah they're all over the place. So I've not kept very good track of them. Though. But, uh, I mean, I have no list of people that would collect my work. I, I, I don't really have it. And, uh, they easy to get in touch with me. I have, I have one major collector in the, in New York, and uh, he, would, he would supply... Very good. Uh, some of my best work. I'll uh, get in touch with him and have him send out some photos. Yeah. That'd be good. So tell us the name of your number one collector. Well, his name is Rimbert Oiling. E A R L I N G. Okay. Rimbert Oiling. And he lives in Mallorca. No, no, no. Yeah, Mallorca, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And did he live in Europe before? Well, uh, I don't have any established. Uh, well, I've been in Europe, so I uh, can't actually do myself. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's happening in, in Europe now. There must be okay. some. Uh, Jack, I would whole... really like a copy. I really want a copy of. Uh, I'd like you to sign it and give me a number. It's the Blue Jesus. It's oh, on yeah. Facebook. I'd like yeah. a copy of that, please. I don't know how much a copy, but I'd like a signed and numbered G. Clay of that. Could you supply that? Could since it's a copy and uh, we're we're helping with Ace Folk Life, can you give us an Ace Folk Life price on the Jesus? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. It's on Facebook and under under your name. So somebody put your artwork. Oh, you're at a big meeting with people. I think this is your daughter. She's very beautiful. And I put her on blog talk. So your daughters, uh, how many children uh, will be managing your estate? Because if it's not your siblings, it'll be your children, right? Right, yeah, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's who they'll they'll want to. Uh, well, I, don't know, I don't know. It depends on whether they're interested in it or have time for it. Oh, if, it. oh okay. They, well, you they, if they're not they interested, they, 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 well, they just they take it for granted. You know? <laughs> oh <laughs> my! Is it like that? Yeah. Yeah, I have one dollar. Well, do you have, have a name? Do you have a name for the blue Jesus? Is that did you name? Do you name each piece? So I'll know. I'd like to have a numbered original. Well, I can't have an original, but I don't mind having a, a limited edition G. Clay. My husband and I used to do uh, like no more than 5,000 was standard. They prefer mm-hmm. you to have like 2,500, but you just yeah. number them and you tell people. So when you number them, you only like one of 2,500, two of 2,500, but you you give them a, a certificate or authentication that you personally or your estate or your like Ace Folk Life will not sell any more than that limited edition. And then that's well, it, right? But it goes well, up in well, value. Well, let's see, of course. Yeah, yeah that's, that's logical. Well, I'll, I'll, so, I'll do that. I'll talk, I'll talk to Rich about that. He's probably more about that than I do. That's me. <laughs> All right, Rich. I want the G- I want the blue Jesus, please, signed on the bottom and dated in 2020. So, can yeah. you make me a cop a G Clay of that? And uh, I I I would like to just pay a hundred dollars if you don't mind. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm special. Over how many? Over how many? Over how many months? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I'd folks, like it's a dollar a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a dollar a month. I can afford that. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, the blue Jesus, and it's got yeah, red hair, but it's got like a knight in the background, and uh, I just really like it. But I, I collect Jesus pictures. My daughter died uh, last year, so it's been a year, and I'm trying to get over that. But I've got two Jesus pictures that she started for me in my living room so this one will go quite nicely <laughs> these orange colors orangish red are the colors of my couches so uh i have black gold <laughs> and this orangish color in the background oh, so i've already God. got it that'll match that'll match my living room so hey, we'll Courtney. just have to get me a copy yeah we'll have to get me a g clay copy numbered but uh who's got the original of that do you have the original it's at it's at it's at uh, it's in Spain. Oh my yeah. gosh! Well, certainly y'all can figure out how to make a copy of this yeah. picture for yeah. a G Clay. Yes. So DJ, well, we, we, we can do something. Uh huh. Right. Sure. Thank you. I'll, 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 I'll before you die, there. I want a, I want a copy before you die, so it'll increase in value if you don't mind. <laughs> He's not going <laughs> to die anytime soon. Yeah. Well, Thirty-five well, well, years. I'll let you know, I'll let you know when, when it happens. I'll, let I'll you have know, it paid okay. off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank well, you. Yeah. Well, We're going to have you. Nice talking to you. Okay. And, uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do something about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I picked sure. my piece well, out. I, I haven't got well, to see well, everything, but okay. I want that one, whatever that is. But make that the the blue Christ or blue Jesus or whatever. But you know which one I'm yeah. talking about. It's the, it's the oh, one yeah. on Facebook. All right, yeah. great. Well, folks, we're out of time, and you hear me trying to negotiate a special hundred dollar <laughs> G Clay <laughs> number <laughs> limited edition. So I'm negotiating for a folk life. <laughs> I've got to go on GoFundMe, and I, I'm retired widow that's doing this for uh, yeah. philanthropic voluntary reasons. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I, I still want a copy of that because it'll look so good in my living room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks so great. Yeah, over I, don't, my I, don't, I don't know if the other Jesus is up to that or not. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a huge, like a six by eight over one. Uh, one's couch, but over the other couch where I would like it, it's just about the size, a little bigger than like a 16 by 20 or something. Yeah, you know, I don't know what size. is that, the, whatever the G clay, what's the G clay size? Something like that, right? I don't know what the, I, I, but it, I, I can't remember it, that. it's framed already, but I'm going to replace it with uh, your picture there. So it'll go really nice. So I'll have original uh, signed limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> G Clay, <laughs> but G-Clay. let tell uh, real real quick. Let Rich tell people what a G Clay is, because I don't even know what it was. 